pleasant good day to you once again and welcome to Revival Time Radio for this another edition of the Watchman Radio. This program is all about warning you and letting you know that the end is at hand, that Jesus Christ is on his way to collect his bride. We are living in the end times and we are to be ready. Today I have a short word for you. The title of the program, The War is on the war is on definitely the war is on do you see it can you feel it can you sense it the war is on no i'm not talking about the physical war we know that is looming in the ear as well you know, there are so much rumors of wars and fightings here, there, and everywhere across the world. But I'm not talking about that because I'm talking about a more serious war, a war that really matters to not just the uh, certain people from certain areas of the world, but it matters to every single human being in this world, on this earth today right now it matters because it affects every one of us the war that is on the war that i'm talking about today is a spiritual war a spiritual battle and that war is for your soul your very soul at the end of this war will decide where you will spend eternity a very very serious matter it will decide where you spend eternity and there are only two places there are only two places where we will indeed inevitably spend eternity it is either in heaven or in the lake of fire that's right the lake of fire that burns with brimstone and fire or you can go to heaven but the choice is yours it depends on whether you will sit back and be defeated or you will rise up and take the necessary measures and steps that is necessary for you to win this war to help win this war over your very soul. The book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. It says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against a spiritual host of wickedness, in the heavenly places this describes what we are fighting right now are you just standing by are you just sitting back taking blows or do you want to fight back do you want to fight for your soul today this war is not against your brother against your sister against another country it is a war against the forces of darkness that is looming over this earth right now. It's against the rulers of the darkness of this age. The very rulers we are fighting at the very top level. It's against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. This is a serious war that is on. It is going on right now as we speak. Now listen, if there was a natural war, if a natural war broke out around you, wherever you are listening to this, if there was a war that broke out in your country or your area where you are right now, naturally you will run for cover. You will do whatever is necessary, whatever you deem necessary to defend yourself, to, to defend your very life. The problem is we can see this war, this natural war, but the spiritual war, we cannot see it. But I want to let you know that this spiritual war, even 
so much more uh, uh, dangerous than the physical war that we may see with our physical eyes. The spiritual war is even more intense and more dangerous. And so we have to be fully aware that this is actually happening. We have to come to that realization that this is real. That this is something that is true. The word of God clearly spells it out. That we are wrestling. We are fighting in this war today. So we have to be doing what is necessary. We have to come to that place where we, we we will defend our very soul. We will fight for our life. The good thing is we have help. This is not something we have to do on our very own. In fact, we have a, a commander in chief. We have a man that has been fighting for all eternity and has never lost a battle. He has never lost a war. And we have an assurance today that he can never ever lose. That is a word that is not in his vocabulary. He cannot lose. It is impossible for him to lose. So we can fight on his side. We have an option today to join his army, to come behind of him and fight behind of him. And you know, when we do that, because of who he is, we are guaranteed, we are assured victory today. Hallelujah. His name is Jesus Christ. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the King of Kings. The undefeatable. He cannot be defeated. He will always triumph over the enemy. No matter how big or strong the enemy may look, he is bigger. He is stronger. And he will undoubtedly, with all assurance, come out victorious. We can be victorious as well if we make the right choice today. The Lord, he is our hope. He is our only hope. He is our only shelter in this spiritual warfare that is going on around us right now. The battle for our souls. We have to come to Jesus. We have to come to him so we can assure victory that we will come out victorious at the end of it. We are fighting an enemy that has no mercy. We are fighting an enemy that does not have any friends. He does not have any favorites. In fact, he hates you. He hates you. And he will never like you. And he has his reasons. The book of John chapter 10 verse 10. He, he tells us that the enemy, the thief, who is our enemy that we are talking about here today, the one that we are fighting against, he does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. That is why he's fighting today. He's fighting against us because he wants to kill us. He wants to steal our joy, steal our hope. He wants to kill us. And to eventually destroy us in the lake of fire. Destroy our future. Destroy our life with Jesus. That is his plan. But that particular verse, it did not end there. For we know what the thief he comes to do. And we know he has no good intentions. But the verse, it did not end there. Because it continues to say, 
And this is Jesus speaking here. The same man that I'm telling you about today, that, that, that has come, that is here for us, for me and for you. He says, I have come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. So where the thief comes to kill Jesus, he has come to make sure that he does not kill you, that you will have life and not just have it, but have it more abundantly. This is a promise to you today from Jesus Christ. He is our salvation. He is our safety. He is our victory today. All of this we can get from him. We get it from the Lord. John 3, 16 and 17 assures us and tells us that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and that begotten son that we're talking about here is Jesus Christ that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life verse 17 goes on to says for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved so how do we get on this army? It spells it out here in these verses. Believe. That's all we need to do is to believe in the Son of God and ask Him to forgive us of our sins and to graft us in, into His family, into His great army. It is a very simple matter. It's not a complicated matter at all. Ask a believe b call upon his name c that's the abc of the gospel of christ very very simple ask believe and just call upon him and you shall be saved today do it now before it is too late because this war it has intensified to a point where it will soon end. It will soon come to a close. But we are assured in the book of Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 if we would just surrender to Jesus Christ. If we will come to him where we can find security, where we can find safety. If we would just come and give him our, our very soul, our very life and put everything into his hands. We are assured from this verse, Isaiah 54, 17, it says, For no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is from me says the Lord no weapon that is formed against you will prosper if you're fighting on the winning side you're fighting on the Lord's side in this war that is on you will come out victorious no weapon that the enemy has will prosper over you at any time in any way shape or form we have that assurance that we will be victorious at the end of it so this is uh, the word that i have to share with you today a very serious word to let you know that there is a war going on right now in the spiritual realm for your soul so what are you doing about it what are you doing about it today fight back come where there is shelter come where you will find hope come to jesus christ today ask him to save you believe that whatever you ask that he will hear and he will offer you that free gift of salvation that he died to offer you it cost him a lot but he's offering it to you today for absolutely nothing all you need to do is to believe in him call 
upon his name and you will be saved. He will hear you and he will answer you and he will rescue you today. So with that, I want to thank you for listening. Thank you for joining me for this another edition of the Watchman Radio Program. As usual, if you want to contact me for any reason, you can find me on Facebook. Search for either of my two profiles, uh, Curtis Minister Roach or Minister Curtis Roach, or even my page, the Watchman Radio Program. And I'll uh, leave me a message and I'll respond to you at my very earliest uh, convenience. Uh, you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. You see the link there at the bottom right of your screen. If you're watching via YouTube, you can just click on that and it will uh, allow you to subscribe to my channel to receive updates on when I upload uh, my, my future videos. There are hundreds of others there uh, that you can go to to help you. They give you a whole bunch of information powerful messages even from myself uh, from Pastor Eugene Mead from Shire Revival Tamanaka among others. Go there and find them and uh, listen to them and share them. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at uh, Roach underscore Curtis. Again I just want to encourage you to when you find when you listen to these programs when you find them uh, don't just keep them to yourself. These are words uh, messages that uh, the whole world needs to hear. The whole world it need, it it needs it, and so share it uh, with your friends, with your family, uh, on your on your social medias, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Tumblr, uh, whatever uh, uh, social media that you're on. You can share them on there, and the, the, allow the Lord to to direct them to whoever uh, He wants them directed to, whoever will hear and take heed. So again, thank you for joining me. God richly bless you and goodbye.